Did you know that more than 100 million Americans have high cholesterol? Why is that a problem, you ask? Because high cholesterol can contribute to a wide range of health problems like stroke and heart disease. But the good news is that, unlike other conditions, high cholesterol can be rolled back to healthy levels. While medication can help lower it, there are also several lifestyle tweaks you can change right now that can make a big impact. And in today's video, we will tell you ways to lower cholesterol naturally. From physical activity, eating fiber-rich foods, not smoking, changing the way you cook food to reading nutrition labels, and more, watch till the end to learn about all of them. 1. Read those nutrition labels to avoid trans fats. You've probably heard this advice over and over again because it's one of the easiest things you can do to help control your diet, read nutrition labels. Aside from telling you about how to eat a heart-healthy diet, nutrition labels can also help you avoid one of the worst ingredients for your cholesterol levels, trans fats. Trans fats, also known as hydrogenated oils or partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, are sneaky ingredients that may be good for food manufacturers, but they're not so good for you. Trans fats help make products last longer, so they can be shipped and stored easier. They're common in many processed foods, and they're also present in many baked goods that use margarine or shortening. Unfortunately, they also contribute to raising bad LDL cholesterol levels, while reducing good HDL cholesterol levels. So if you really want to lower your cholesterol, read labels and try to avoid trans fats whenever you can. They're some of the biggest offenders when it comes to high cholesterol, and cutting them out of your diet can be a great move. 2. Scale back. You don't have to lose a lot of weight to lower your cholesterol. If you're overweight, drop just 10 pounds, and you'll cut your LDL by up to 8%. But to keep off the pounds, you'll have to do it over time. A reasonable and safe goal is 1 to 2 pounds a week. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute notes that while inactive, overweight women usually need 1,000 to 1,200 calories daily for weight loss, Active, overweight women and women weighing more than 164 pounds usually require 1,200 to 1,600 calories each day. If you're extremely active during your weight loss program, you may require additional calories to avoid hunger. 3. Get moving. Exercising at least 2.5 hours a week is enough to raise HDL and improve LDL. If you haven't been active, start slowly, even 10-minute blocks of activity count. Choose an exercise you enjoy. And buddy up. An exercise partner can help keep you on track. 4. Fill up on fiber. Foods like oatmeal, apples, prunes, and beans are high in soluble fiber, which keeps your body from absorbing cholesterol. Research shows that people who ate 5 to 10 more grams of it each day saw a drop in their LDL. Eating more fiber also makes you feel full, so you won't crave snacks as much. But beware. Too much fiber at one time can cause abdominal cramps or bloat. Increase your intake slowly. 5. Go fish. Try to eat it 2 to 4 times a week. Not only are the omega-3 fats in fish heart healthy, but replacing red meat with fish will lower your cholesterol by reducing your exposure to saturated fats, which are abundant in red meat. There is also a catch. Some types, like a shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, are high in mercury. That can increase your risk for heart disease. Instead, choose wild salmon, sardines, and bluefin tuna. 6. Opt for olive oil. Substituting olive oil for butter may reduce LDL cholesterol by as much as 15%, which is similar to the effect of a low dose of medication. The good, fats in olive oil benefit your heart. Choose extra virgin olive oil. It's less processed and contains more antioxidants, which help prevent disease. 7. Go nuts. Most types can lower LDL. The reason? They contain sterols, which, like fiber, keep the body from absorbing cholesterol. Just don't go overboard. Nuts are high in calories. 8. Chill out. Did you know that when you're stressed, your cholesterol can go through the roof? Relax. Get lost in a good book, meet a friend for coffee, or take to your yoga mat. It'll help keep your cholesterol in check. 9. Spice it up. If you don't already dust your cappuccino with cinnamon or shake pepper on your pasta, listen up. Spices like garlic, curcumin, ginger, black pepper, coriander, and cinnamon do more than flavor your food.
they can also improve cholesterol. Research shows that eating a half to one clove of garlic each day could lower cholesterol up to 9%. Bonus! Adding extra seasoning to your food also reduces your appetite, so it's easier to drop excess pounds. 10. Butt out smoking. Smoking can raise LDL and lower HDL, and quitting often improves those numbers. In one study, people who stopped smoking saw their good cholesterol rise 5% in one year. But if you're regularly around smokers, take heed. Breathing secondhand smoke every day can also raise levels of bad cholesterol. Have you ever been affected by high cholesterol? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. For more contents and tips subscribe to the channel.